Well, after a woman lost someone she loved in a Birmingham shooting only a week ago, she's now sharing her story with us. The woman who was also injured in that shooting doesn't want to show her face for her own safety, but she wants to highlight the impact of gun violence and hopes it can save someone else. There were messages saying that I was about to die. Messages and conversations on a social media app threatening this woman's life, all before her worst fears became reality. I thought I was going to die myself. It happened Saturday, August 10th at the Collegeville Housing Community. He had a gun. He had his keys out. We got into an altercation. Shots was fired. <laughs> My boyfriend was killed. I was shot three times, one in the head with a fractured skull, twice in the back, and 14 grazings. That's only with my back. I did survive that shooting. Birmingham police say the suspect, Rodriguez Williams Johnson, shot into an apartment and hit a woman and a man who died. He wasn't even involved in the situation. He had nothing to do with this. Williams Johnson is charged with capital murder and attempted murder. The survivor says people are still talking about it all online. They don't care nothing about what's going on in the real life. They still taking it as a joke. Stay safe and watch these people on social media. She says you never know what can come of the conversation to you or your loved ones. And of course, there's so much more to Brandon than just this situation. What do you want him to be remembered for? Um, how good of a person he was. And I just wanted to know I love him. And I'm never going to forget about what happened. I'm never going to forget about him. And it hurt me every day, but I get through it. It ain't going to ever be enough, though. Now, we're still looking into other aspects of this particular case. And as we learn more information, we'll share it with you on air and online. Not much different. No